Hi guys and welcome back to this podcast. I hope you're all well and this is a podcast where we discuss Korean related content, K-pop, K-dramas, the happenings in the K-pop industry, the K-drama industry and things around the world which is pertaining to K-pop or K-dramas. And I want to say a very big shout out to people who are listening to this podcast and what this little girl is saying and not thinking it's rubbish and giving me your feedbacks. I say thank you very much. And today, what I'll be talking about is something that I've noticed recently and I just want to talk about it and get your feedbacks also. So I just want to ask this question first off before we start. What exactly is it? Or was it that I did to get a lot of aid for? And I really don't understand because I, I was really, really searching and searching and searching for it. But I really don't understand what it is that this company did to make it the enemy of the whole industry. Okay, first off, I, we all know something as a small company, Big Eat Entertainment, the whole grass to grass story, they didn't have a lot. But with the with BTS, they, grew, they became the giant of the industry. Now fast forward to when Big It is now Ibe, Ibe Entertainment. We can say tentatively is the leading K-pop company in Korea right now. And when Ibe came to start, everybody was looking like, okay, what is this? What is it that Ibe wants to do in the industry right now? We believe in music at I, I believe that is what they stand for then they came acquired some companies and all and all and all they began the acquisition process with a lot of other companies too with source music with Pledis, um b lifts and koz and um, zico's company and all that they have like a lot of groups under them now and with adult too but with what i'm seeing in the industry now the K-pop industry is so hostile to hype, and I don't want—I don't really understand why. Is there a particular issue, or did I do something really bad for it to be the the black sheep of the K-pop industry? And I know some people might say, "Oh, they did this, they did that." Okay, listening to and researching about a lot of things that. I supposedly did to become the black sheep of the industry. One, they said, okay, I is trying to monopolize the entertainment industry by acquiring a lot of companies. And looking at this from a business point of view, I really don't see anything wrong in what I was doing for me, business wise. And they're trying to maximize profits, getting a lot of groups under them and it is not that they force them to sign over their groups to them right i guess that is something too but when we look at the companies in the k-pop industry right now we have jyp we have sm we have yg we have ibe we have cacao right now and if you're telling me ibe is monopolizing the k-pop industry what exactly do you want to say about cacao who has like has a lot of companies under it recently they just acquired they have they had the majority shareholder in sm right now so sm entertainment is under cacao too so i don't understand where the monopolization ideology came from if you're already talking about monopolization because cacao to me right now seems like he's doing good or they are doing good but on the on the guise of they are actually becoming the strong part in the K-pop industry. And nobody is saying that. Everybody is just about, oh, I be the like the, the punching bag of the whole industry right now. They are the ones that are seeming like they want to monopolize everything. But to be candid, Kakao is actually monopolizing the whole K-pop industry and nobody is saying it. Yes, for them to have a majority share of holding in SM Entertainment, then you should understand that Kakao is not a small dog in this industry and recently there's um there's an issue whereby cacao has been under scrutiny by the investigative arm um, of um, the government in south korea for manipulating the shares 
of um, SM Entertainment so that they can block Hype from gaining the majority share in from SM Entertainment. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, nobody's seen this coming, right? Or people saw it coming, they just thought, oh, Kakao can do no harm. Hype is the wrong person here. And another thing that people are always about is, oh, they are Zionists in the company. I do not understand. Really, when it comes to Palestine and Israel situation, I really don't talk about it because one, I do not understand anything about the issues going on. And two, I am also living in a country whereby we have people bombing, people killing themselves on a daily basis. I have not really talked about that yet. And so my home country has issues we are dealing with. So when you ask me, oh, they are not talking about the Palestinian Israel situation, First of all, I do not understand a lot about this is it, this situation for me to have an opinion about it. And two, my country too is battling with issues. So for me to leave my own country and start talking about another person's country, don't you think that is hypocritical on my side? And that is for me. So for the Zionist situation, I, I really don't understand it. And I don't really understand where by the people I became a punching bag for everybody in the K-pop industry. The third one I will talk about, the Hype and Ado situation. I made a video about that recently. You can always check that the Hype and Ado situation is an internal issue between the two of them. And so, I might seem I'm supporting Hype and I, but I'm looking at this from a very neutral point of view, from a business point of view. Yes, they want to make money. They've invested a lot of money into that company and someone just ups one day and, and, and goes like oh i want to take over everything how do you feel as a person how do you how would you feel as a person if that was were going to happen even taking it out of the artist and the the group themselves i'm talking about from, from a business point of view you as an investor investing almost 98 99 percent of what made that company and now the 1% of the company is trying to take over the company from you. I don't think that will make anybody happy at the very point. I'm going to link this to BTS because when you hear high BA, you, you, the first thing that comes to your mind is BTS because to me, I believe BTS is the backbone of that company. I also noticed that with the eight IB is getting and with the eight Bank Shiok is getting, the hate is also on BTS. I don't know, is it because they came, did something nobody ever did before and just swept up the entire industry and didn't give anybody a breathing space? I want to understand why do people or maybe K-pop stands hate BTS so much? Why do you hate their existence so much? Why do you hate their achievements so much? Is it that you really do not want this achievement for them or you want it for another group entirely i need to understand that part so this is just my just my humble submission about this whole issue because i really don't understand in particular why hype is getting a lot of aid in the k-pop industry and why it seems that hype is the one doing everything wrong in the industry why the other companies are doing something right i need to understand that I, I really would love if somebody could just help me with this. I need to have an understanding of why is it that people hate hype so much? Why is it that BTS is hated in the, in the industry? Why is that, please? I need to know.